Welcome back to my series on your home yeast lab made er easy. In this video I'm going to be covering a process called um, a streak plate or streaking. Uh, the purpose of this is to take a uh, dense culture of, of yeast or bacteria or whatever it is you're growing and to spread them out so you get single individual colonies that you can then um, pick for future use. So the reason why you might want to do this is if you're trying to purify um, say a certain yeast or a certain bacteria from maybe a sour beer. Uh, it's also a way that you can recover yeast from say an infected batch of beer. So for this process we need a few things. We of course need our, our source of organisms. In this case I've got a mixed culture of yeast and bacteria that I pulled out of a bottle of goose. You're going to need either a Bunsen burner or an alcohol lamp. Of course your um, petri dish with um, whatever agar it is you're going to use and I'll talk about making these in a future video. And you're going to need a loop. Uh, this is kind of hard to see but basically there's a, a small ring here, uh, perhaps you can see it now, um, in metal uh, followed by, by sort of a little bit of a, an extension and this is used to sterilely transfer yeast and other organisms from point to point. So to start we want to, of course, light our alcohol lamp. This is going to create the area uh, of sort of clean moving air that we can now work in. And of course also provides us with the ability to sanitize and sterilize our tools. So the next thing we need, of course, is to sanitize, or sorry, sterilize our loop. And you do that simply by heating it in the flame. As you can see, it gets red hot. No organism on earth can survive that. So we now know that this is completely sterile. So my petri dish, if you can't tell, is actually sort of upside down. The gel layer is on top and that's how you should actually be storing petri dishes under all circumstances except for when you're working with them. The reason being if any condensation forms on the lid it's not going to drip onto your gel and ruin your colonies and potentially even carry infection in. So of course we are going to work with it now so we want to flip our dish and we first want to get a sample of our organism. So to do that, we'll just again sterilize the loop. You always want to make sure you're sterilizing it right before you use it. We'll grab our culture and again working near the flame so that we get that clean air uh, flow of air. Just want to grab a little loop full of our yeast and we're going to do our first streak. So we'll open this up and we'll just smear in sort of a small zigzag pattern, just using one section of the plate, our yeast. We now flame our loop, rotate our tray, our dish 90 degrees, and now we're going to cool in one corner our loop. So you touch the gel, that'll cool the loop. And now you're going to streak across your first set of streaks once, and then again, smear out the yeast. We'll turn that again 90 degrees, reheat the loop to sterilize the loop, touch the gel and again cross our last streak streak it out and we're going to do it a fourth time now the idea here is every time we sterilize the loop and then cross over an old path we're just picking up a small number of yeast and whatever else is in there and we're spreading it across our petri dish so we're essentially diluting every time we streak and so by doing that four times, somewhere between the third and fourth time, we should end up with single colonies of whatever organisms are growing in this particular batch. So I know it may have been difficult to see what I did in that video. So here's a simple animation showing you how this works. So you take your first sample of yeast and you streak across the top of the plate forming a small number of streaks. You would then flame your loop, cross back over your first set of streaks and pull out the yeast in a line, come back, cross it one more time and then streak a few more times. Flame your loop and repeat this a, a, a third time but this time crossing the second streak and then a fourth time crossing the last streak. And every time you do this you're basically picking up a small amount of yeast and moving it over and putting it onto uh, the next section of the plate. So in my opinion this kind of streak plate gives the best results but it can be kind of hard to do. So there's a simpler way that doesn't work quite as well, um, but for most cases is probably good enough. What you do is you take your sample of yeast and you just make three streaks, uh, one after the other. You don't have to zigzag uh, across one side of the plate. Flame your loop, cool it off, and now you want to do three more streaks 
um, again across the plate and each streak should be crossing over the streaks you made before. Flame your loop, do this a third time, so you're going to cross the second set of streaks three times, each time streaking out, uh, each time crossing those uh, the, the previous streaks. And then the last time you do this, you just want to streak uh, multiple streaks into the center as many times as you can. Now I didn't make an example of the simple streaking method that I just told you about, but I do have a couple sample plates um, showing both good and bad examples of the classical streaking method. So this is the one I prepared in this video. You can see here we have the first area of streaking, which I actually did too much streaking on. Here's the second set of streaks. Here's your third set of streaks. And there's the fourth set of streaks. And you can see there's lots of single colonies in that streak that we can now pick and um, culture up to see what it is or to uh, purify the strain or whatever we want to do. Now if you've watched my aseptic technique video, I told you you probably shouldn't talk while you're streaking yeast or working with yeast, and this is why. As you can see right here, got a nice fuzzy colony of mold that probably came out of the spit when I was talking. So, you know, as a rule, you don't want to talk when you're streaking. You can also say I didn't do a very good job on this one. But that's how you streak yeast. Uh, we can now take those individual colonies and work with them uh, to either grow them up and start brewing beer with them, or we can maybe characterize them further to figure out what they are. And I hope you found this video useful.